Hey YouTube, it's Lip Bone Queen here. Just want to come here today and I want to do um, kind of a collection video of some of my uh, tinned lip balms that I adore. Um, I have a lot in my collection and I probably won't get into all of them because there's so many. Because if you've seen my my lip balm video, my collection video, you know that I have a huge collection. But these are just some that I have that are actually in tins and I really enjoy them. And uh, so, like I said, I have a ton of these. They're like in really cool containers and stuff. So, I just really like these and I'm going to share them with you guys. Alright, so the first one that I'm going to share is the Vaseline ones. Um, I have a cocoa butter one in here somewhere. It's kind of, I don't know where it's vanished to. It might be in my book bag. I carry, um, I carry a Vaseline lip balm with me at all times, like in my book bag at school and stuff. And I have one in cocoa butter that looks like this, but this one is in aloe. And I love this one so much. I love the scent of it. It smells like aloe. It smells great. I'm just a huge fan of that. I love that. And I love the cocoa butter one that I have too. Um, then I have the one in rosy lips. And you can purchase these at your Walgreens because Walgreens actually has them there. And they have an original one too, but I didn't really ever get the original, which maybe in the future I might get it. But, um, you know, I don't know if I need it right away. This one smells really good. It has a nice rose scent, but it's not an overpowering rose scent. It smells so good. And I have used this one. I love this one so much. These are really good. I think they range around $2.99 to $3.00. Three dollars and something. These are really nice. You can get these at Walgreens. There is an original and there is a cocoa butter too and they are all great. I love them all. Um, then I had this in my collection before I had got this in a swap from my YouTube sister that lives in New Zealand and she got me this. She ordered it for me and this is a Vaseline Queen Bee. It's a limited edition one and you can't buy this at Walgreens but you can buy this online if you look it up. Um, it has the most amazing honey scent. It smells so good. And it's just a clear balm, but it's amazing. I love this one so much. This is probably probably one of my favorite um, tinned lip balms. Like, I just love this one so much. I gravitate towards this so much, and I love it. And speaking of two of my favorite lip balms and tins, I have really become a huge fan of the Tokyo Milk dark lip balms or lip elixirs as they call them. This one's Coco Noir and this one is the uh, Softy Caramel. I love these two so much. I have another one that I ordered recently that's coming in and I'm excited to see what it smells like. Um, but these are really cool lip balms. This one has a cocoa and like a, a, like a cherry scent. It smells so good and it's just a clear balm. But this, oh my gosh, it makes my lips feel so good. So soft. Then this one is the Softy Caramel. And if you love the scent of like anything caramel scented or anything like that, you will absolutely adore this. As you can tell, I've put a good dent in this one because I love it so much. Oh, it's like rubbing dessert on your lips every time you put it on. It's just amazing. And I love this one. I got them from Sephora.com. And another two lip balms that I had ordered from Sephora.com um, is I love these so much. This is the Smith's Rose and uh, Mandarin Lip Balm. This is amazing. This makes my lips feel amazing. And it has this real nice orange scent and almost like a, a spice scent with it. So it kind of reminds me of like Russian tea or wassail or whatever. You've ever had that before? Mm. And that's the color of the balm. And when you apply it, it goes on clear. So you don't have to worry about the color, but... It reminds me of Russian tea. It just smells so good. And I just love it. The Smith's brand is amazing. Then we have the Soap and Glory, a great kisser lip balm. And this is like a candy cane, peppermint kind of scent. And I got this, I'm going to say maybe two Christmases ago off of Sephora.com. God, it's just a lovely peppermint scent. And it's got like a glitter in it. I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not, but there is like a glitter in it. But when you apply it, you don't really see the glitter. Oh, it smells so good. Um, and I love the packaging on this. The packaging's adorable. It actually looks like a little peppermint or a candy cane or something. I love it. Then we have these here that I have got from, um, you can purchase these at, uh, Five Below. You can purchase these from, um, oh geez, where's the other place? Um, Ulta has them. They're called, uh, You're the Bomb, and it's the Absolute New York brand that makes these. And this one is in Grape. Mm. And I love this one so much. It has a really nice um, 
grape scent. I actually have two of these. One of them, this is the one I haven't used. And then I have this one that I have. Let me open the one I have used. I have used this one. This one smells so good. I love these. Um, and they're really awesome. You can sometimes get them in like a dual pack where there's two of them. I think it's normally like the grape and the green apple together. But there's the green apple. And you would think this would be green. But it's not. But it does have like a light apple scent. And um, it's very light though. And uh, it's just awesome. I love that. And then this is the one I recently found at Five Below. And this is also from the Absolute New York brand. It's the Cocoa Butter. I love this so much. This one, it seems a little bit harder to get open. There we go. Mm. If you love the smell of cocoa butter, you will definitely love this one. It is a little oily, but the reason why is because it's enriched with a vitamin E oil. And vitamin E oil is, of course, oily because it's oil. So, um, you definitely do get like more of an oily feel on your lips after you've used it because of the... Um, actual vitamin E that's in it so but this is an awesome lip balm then two of the lip balms I love in tins they're slider tins and they're from Tint Cosmetics this one is in Miss Pepper and this one is in Cream Soda and you've seen me do reviews on these I love these so much they remind me of the vintage lip liquors if you've ever remember those from like back in the 80s they were awesome and they snap closed so you don't have to worry about them being in your purse and them coming open. They snap and they click so you do know if it's shut or not. But they're awesome. This one's tinted and it has a beautiful tint to it. And it smells like Dr. Pepper. Oh my gosh, I love that one so much. And then this one is just like a clear um, shine that you just put on your lips pretty much. And it does smell like cream soda. It smells really good. And these, um, they're very special because... Not only are they like a vintage kind of a thing, but they also, this says moisturizing, and they're very moisturizing because they have a lot of shea butter in them. Shea butter definitely does the trick with like making your lips moisturize, and they definitely, definitely have the shea butter in them, and they make your lips feel amazing. So these are so cute, and they're easy to just throw in your makeup bag and just go on with it and just apply it throughout the day if you need it, and they're just really nice. I love them. Then I have... This C.O. Bigelow Rose Salve that I had got from Bath & Body Works. This range is around $7 to $8. And this is an all-purpose salve, though. You can use it for your face, your lips, your cuticles, your elbows, your knees. And they're just it's just great. This is a great product to have, and it smells amazing. Uh, I don't smell rose when I smell this. I just smell a really sweet smell. And it almost has like a cocoa butter scent. Just a little. Just a little. I'm not saying it smells like pure cocoa butter, but it has like a sweet smell, kind of like cocoa butter. It just smells so good, and I love it. And it just goes on clear. Definitely one to have in your collection. And sorry for the rattling. I have some that are buried on the bottom here. Then we have the Smith's Minted Rose Lip Balm. I did order this off Sephora.com. I do love this one so much. And, oh my God, this one just smells so good. It does have the rose scent, but it's a really light, light rose scent, and it has a nice mint scent to go with it, and it just, it just, it's perfect. I love it. As you can tell, I have used the heck out of this because I love it so much, mm. and it makes your lips feel amazing, and it goes on clear, and it's just really nice, so I'm a huge fan of this one. Then we have the Beauty Rush Soothing Lip Balm. I bought this like three or four years ago from uh, Victoria's Secret. Um, I don't hardly ever go in Victoria's Secret, but when I went in there one day, I was just like, I was getting some more, uh, body spray. And when I went in there, I saw this was there. And I'm not 100% sure what it was supposed to be called. But it has a peppermint scent to it. And it's pink. It has a glitter in it. I don't even know if you can see the glitter anymore. It's kind of faded down, but, mm, it smells good. It has a real nice peppermint scent. So I don't know if you can get these at um, Victoria's Secret anymore, but this is one I've had in my collection that I've always loved. So I keep it. Then we have these um, little lip balms. Uh, they're like in a round tin. I'm trying to find them all. I've got some scattered everywhere. Let's see. Hold on one second. I have them everywhere, guys. So I have, let's see if what all I have here. Um, I 
recently did like, well, when I did my um, whip bone haul, there was a bunch of these I had found that I had and I didn't realize I had. But um, I have the Nivea lip butters and they, this one's in cocoa butter and cocoa butter kiss. Can't talk today or read. Um, if I can get this one open, sometimes I have a hard time getting these ones open. Sometimes the lids will pop open for me and sometimes they won't. So just give me just a second. Got to keep out on the time. I don't want my video going way, way too far. Too far, too long. I can't talk today either. Um, well, my cocoa butter one's not wanting to open or cooperate with me. Which doesn't surprise me. Okay, well, it's just a cocoa butter kiss lip butter and it's really nice. I really do enjoy it, but it's really hard to open, so I'm not going to try to like struggle with it. Um, then we have a caramel um, cream kiss and it's just a cream based uh, lip balm. Mm, I love it. It's a rich caramel scent. It smells so good. Then we have the vanilla and macadamia kiss. And it's just a white balm. Goes on clear. Mmm. Smells so good. And then, I, for some reason, I've just collected these. These um, Nivea Lip Butters in Raspberry Rose Kiss. I think I have like two or three of these things. And one of them I've actually opened and used. I don't know which one that is because they're scattered everywhere. But, um, oh my god. This smells like raspberry and cream. It smells amazing. Um, so, I have two of those. And I also have two of the Caramel Kiss. I use those. I wish I could get the cocoa butter one open. I hate it's being hard to get open right now. I've got it like partially open. I was hoping I could finish opening it up for you guys. Hold on one second. I'm going to try to open it. Okay. After all that struggle, I finally got it open. Mm, yeah, and it has a rich cocoa butter scent. It smells really good. I have to be careful when I shut this again because it's not wanting to open up for me good. It's almost like I got, because I did take this to the beach with me. And I'm wondering if I didn't get some uh, sand inside the tin, like around the lid. Because it kind of feels gritty. That might be why it wasn't wanting to open for me. Anyways, so that one's an awesome one. And then I have this little tin here. This came from uh, my YouTube sis that lives in New Zealand. Um, it's an Atomic Apple lip balm. And it is so cute. It opens and it looks like a little like case or whatever, but it is so cute. And it smells so good. It has a little, a uh, really nice apple scent. It smells good. But it's super cute. And the brand that makes this, I'm going to see if it's on there anywhere. I think it says W7, so that's awesome. Then I have a lip balm that I purchased myself um, last year for my birthday off Sephora.com. It's called Kiss Kiss, and it's a gloss rose universal uh, pink gloss. It's so cute with all the little lips on it. And it's just a glittery pink um, balm or lip gloss pretty much, and it does give you like a really pretty pink and like a shine. And it just slides right back on. Just slides shut. If I can get it on there. There we go. And it just slides shut. I think it's just cute packaging. I was a sucker for that. It was right around my birthday. And I, um, I was going to order something off Sephora anyway. So I saw that and I just had to grab it. So then I have this cute little lip balm I found at Walgreens. This is uh, has a little lips and it says the makeup. And it was just like, I think like $2 or something at um, Walgreens. And it has a really rich cherry scent and it smells so good. I'm just a big fan of this one. And this one is tinted too. It's not like really, really bright, but it does give you like a nice like pinkish shade. And it smells amazing and it feels really good on your lips too. So I'm a big fan of that one. And then I have this one here. Uh, my YouTube sister from New Zealand got it for me. Uh, it's an e.l.f. brand, and it's Candy Shop Lip Gloss. And I'm excited for this one. It just slides like the slider tins, and 
Mm, it has a, a really sweet frosting kind of scent. Like a buttercream caramel scent or something. It smells so good. But um, that's what it looks like. So I'm a big fan of that. And it is the Elf brand if anyone's wondering. Um, it's called Frosting Fanatic. Or no. Yeah, Fanatic. But it does. It smells like a rich buttercream like frosting. And then these are not tins per se. But they are lip balms that I actually do like. I'm going to find them all. They're all scattered around. These are the Mo Moi, I think as you say it, lip balms. And they don't get a lot of product in these. And they are kind of inconvenient, like the way they open. And I don't know, like some people don't like to put their fingers in their lip balm, which sometimes I don't. But when it comes to a tin like that, I just, you know, that's how it is. But um, this right here, they're cute packaging and they really do smell good. But um, you don't get a lot of product. It's the Moi Mango Tango Lip Balm. But I really do like these. I think they're fun. You just slide them out. It looks like a popsicle. And uh, this one right here is... I haven't used it in a while. And it's a uh, Mango Tango. And this one doesn't really smell like mango. It has a... Um, I don't know. It's not real strong mango. It has a, like a fruity scent. Like a citrusy scent, but it's not real strong. Um, so it's not like a really like a mango tango scent, but it is a cool lip balm. I think it's really neat. Then this one is the Sweet Tart Lip Balm. You slide this one out. And let me swatch it real quick. They're all clear. And this one just smells like a sweet scent. It doesn't really have like a strawberry scent or anything sweet or anything. It's just like a sweet smell. It doesn't really have like a fruit scent though is what I'm saying. But it is called Sweet Tart so I guess that's why. And then this one is called Cherry Balm Lip Balm. And this one I'm curious. I'm trying to remember if it gives a tint or not. Let me swatch it. No. This one is like one of my favorites though. It has a really nice cherry scent. I really like this one. So that one's awesome. That one's probably my favorite. This one's called Coconut Chick. That's the packaging on it. And you do get a coconut scent from this. Let me swatch it again. It's a, it's not a strong coconut scent though. Mm -mm. But it's okay. My favorite out of all those though is the uh, Cherry Bomb. That's my favorite. That's because you really do definitely get the scent from that, like no doubt. The rest of them, after they start sitting for a while, at least mine do, they get kind of a weird, like, smell to them. They don't really smell as strong, and they have, like, this weird, like, waxy lip balm smell. Um, so, I don't really know all about all these. I think the package is adorable on these, but if I had to pick a favorite out of those four, it would be the Cherry Bomb, because you can actually smell the cherry from that. Um, then I have this one here. This one came from my YouTube sis. It's called Super Blam Lip Balm. And it's Balmtastic. No. Blamtastic. I gotta get that right. Sorry. Um, Blamtastic Skins. And it's called Super Blam Lip Balm. And it comes in a little package. It's like a mushroom kind of. When you open it. It has a real nice citrus scent. It smells so good. But it's just a clear balm. And um, I got this in a swap, but I know you can purchase these at Walmart, where all the lip balms are. And I think I'm going to stop here because that's pretty much all my tinned lip balms. But I wanted to get here and wanted to share it with you guys. And I hope you all have a blessed day and you enjoyed the video. And if you have any of these lip balms, comment down below. Let me know what you think of them. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.